This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So today, guys, we're going to take a look at two more placeables by Nostalgic Farmer. Seems like you guys enjoyed the uh, placeable log building, log barn, log shed uh, that I had put up the other week, as well as the uh, placeable hayloft. Uh, the rustic hayloft that Nostalgic Farmer did, that I did a mod review on. So he's back, and he's got two more buildings that I wanted to show off for you guys. First one is a basic rustic American barn. Can't get more simple than this, but you know what? It looks pretty darn good. It's a Tennessee barn. It's $3,500. Let's go ahead and put it down here. Rotate this around. Just going to put it down right here. And both of these mods can be found over at modhoster.com. Got the same wood exterior that he has on his other rustic buildings. Door. Go inside. We've got some missing wood. Old, old rusty aluminum siding. Our uh, corrugated steel siding, whatever you want to call that stuff. Got a little bit of a loft up here. Great to, uh, you could use this to, great to store bales in, small equipment, whatever. Shut the door. Got uh, two little side areas where we could put small tractors or small implements. Maybe a small trailer or so. See, it does change the ground into a dirt texture, but uh, with the landscaping feature, you'll be able to change that to your liking. It's cheap. It's rustic. If you're looking for that home steady type of gameplay, or you're just looking for something small and basic just to get your farm started, is a great choice. It is again the Tennessee Barn. It's over at modhoster.de. Will be a link in the description below. Now the second gem is basically this barn's cousin. It is a horse stable. Go ahead and spin this thing around, and uh, we'll just put this one over here. So we can take a look again at this building. And now we'll take a look at this building over here. See, it's basically its cousin, if you will. Except this is set up as a horse stable. Got lots of really cool decoration and whatnot around here. We've got some rusty old gates. Broken down wagon wheel. We've got another wagon wheel up there on the top. And we've got the trigger right here to deliver our horses. So let's go ahead and see. I believe we can take um, eight horses in here. Let's go ahead and look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we can have eight horses in here. And this particular mod has a couple tricks up its sleeve. Let me, uh, let me show you guys. We've got the straw trigger here. Got a gate here that we can open up. And inside, we've got the hay trigger right here. That's right, just the hay trigger, because the oat trigger is over here. So he has separated out the oat and the hay triggers. You have to bring your oats over to this one and your hay into the uh, feeder ring there. You've got the water right here. And there's one more trick. With this placeable, your horses actually poo. So, unlike the in game, where the horses seem to magically not have any, um, well, solid uh, residue, uh, similar to sheep, I guess, uh, with this mod, you can get uh, manure from your horses. 
So let's go, yeah, go, uh, just to show you where all these triggers are once again by, uh, putting stuff in them. And I'll show you the final trick that this particular building has, uh, in store for it. Let's disconnect some of our, uh, for a train of trailers. First off, let's get the straw bale. And that's right, I've got a straw bale. I don't have a straw blower. I don't have loose straw. I've got a bale of straw. So that kind of gives it away, guys. The straw trigger will accept bales. What's this? Boom, it's gone. Hot darn. Hot diggity dog. Let's go ahead and put the hay bale in the ring. This mod can be also found over at modhoster.de. We'll be linked to both of these in the description. If you haven't seen any of Nostalgic Farmer's other buildings, go ahead and check them out over there at modhoster.de. The hay's been fed. Let's go ahead and get our oats taken care of. And both of the this building is also excellent for the person that's looking to uh, just run a rustic old farm or maybe a homestead type environment wonderful for a start from scratch series let's go ahead and dump and get a great grain texture in here in this trough is kind of tight in here so you're not going to be coming in here with huge equipment and huge trailers and just ignore that i am running through a horse and we'll go ahead and put the water in We'll speed up time a little bit, and we'll see that poo start to pile up. Now with this particular placeable, we do get a grass texture that comes down. Go up here to our animal areas, and you'll see that we have hay, we have oats, and we have straw, and we have water. It's just if we can't get this out of here just so we can shut the gate fast forward time a bit so we got time on 120 And we can already see a little bit of manure starting to pile up here. Hey guys, let me know what you think in the comments of both the Tennessee Barn and the Horse Stable. Both are from Nostalgic Farmer. He seems to specialize in rustic, old American-looking buildings. Until next time, guys.
Happy farming.